Alistair Moody. Ex Auror. Ministry malcontent. And your new defense against the dark arts teacher. I am here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. Any questions? When it comes to the dark arts, I believe in a practical approach. But first, which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? Three, sir. And they are so named? Because they are unforgivable. The use of any one of them will. will earn you a one-way ticket to Azkaban, correct? Now, the minister says you're too young to see what these curses do. I say different. You need to know what they're up against. You need to be prepared. You need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. Oh, no way. The old codger can see at the back of his head. And here across classrooms. So, which curse shall we see first? Weasley! Yes? Stand. Give us a curse. Well, my, my dad did tell me about one. Hmm. The Imperious Curse. Oh, yeah. Your father would know all about that. Gave the Ministry quite a bit of grief a few years ago. Perhaps this will show you why. Scores of witches and wizards have claimed that they only did you know who's bidding under the influence of the imperious curse. But here's the rub. How do we sort out the liars? Another, another. Up, up, come on. Long bottom, is it? Up. <laughs> Professor Sprout tells me you have an aptitude for herbology. There's the, um, the Cruciatus curse. Correct, correct. Come, come. Particularly nasty. The torture curse. Crucio! You could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. The killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. And he's sitting in this room. <laughs> <laughs> 